Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel. We are back at the dormitory and of course before we say uh, our good night, we still want to talk to everyone that's here. Just like we always do. So let's start uh, by the first room and work our way, well, up and down. I'm looking forward to seeing what crazy idea you decide on. I can't help you too much though. Having someone as brilliant as me on your side always feels like stacking the deck. Fair enough, we'll figure out something on our own. <laughs> that aside, feels like you guys have finally gotten used to having me around. I guess that means I can finally take it easy. Uh, I guess so. Machias is still adjusting to your antics, I think. But to me, you've always been a little too lax to fit the image of model upperclassmen. I mean, now that you've got the red jacket and everything, I might even forget you were ever a second year. Ouch, man, that one might hit a little too close to home. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Anyway, good uh, luck coming up with something interesting. Oh, old crawl will be here looking out for all your tender first years. And it looks like he's uh, playing a bit of cards. All right. Well, if you need to improve your blade game, you might as well keep practicing. Hmm, helping my club prepare for the festival while trying to brainstorm an idea for our class is proved to be a challenge. We'll have to divide up our time wisely to make sure everything goes well. Well, I don't have any clubs to worry about, so I'll devote my extra time to finding a good idea for us. You say that, but I get the feeling you're even busier than the rest of us. Possibly, because I have no idea what kind of task uh, Toa will send uh, over to us tomorrow. Oh, the chess club's already decided what it's doing for the festival. Ideally, I want to come up with an idea that only we could pull off. Well, the idea of an idol band made for class 7 could be a nice idea, right? Because that's basically the idea that Toa had, the one thing that they did. We haven't seen it yet, that's gonna be tomorrow night, but I think that's it. <laughs> hmm, the things we can pull off with just the number of people we've got in class 7 are kinda limited, huh? Personally, I like it if we did something music related, but that might uh, be too much of a stretch. That reminds me, Toa mentioned that she was involved with some kind of concert for last year's festival. Maybe she'll have some good ideas for us when I go see her tomorrow evening. Technically, it's a great idea, but I don't know if everyone will be willing to participate in something like that. Well, the idea of an academy holding its own festival is pretty new to me. We did have seasonal festivals in North, though, so maybe it's like those. I don't doubt that coming together to put on a festival that everyone in the school can enjoy will be a lot of fun. Now we just need to think of something our class can do for it. I'm planning on inviting my family to the academy festival. Now we just need to think of something our class uh, can do for it. Well, with so many prestigious people coming, we have to come up with something good. Hmm, I'm certain my brother has uh, much on his mind, but shaming him through our lack of creativity simply isn't an option. We must come up with an idea befitting our class and status. Wow, he's really serious about this. Bringing shame to my brother through our lack of creativity simply isn't an option. We must come up with an idea befitting of our class and status. Ah, uh, we'll do our best uses, we always do. I'm sure we come up with something uh, interesting, really. <laughs> People keep telling me that festivals are all about good stalls. <laughs> I wonder what kind of tasty stuff they'll have. Well, there's nothing wrong with being excited for them, but we should probably focus on an idea for our class right now. I know, I know. Festivals are all about food stalls, aren't they? I can't wait. No Sarah, at least not in her room. She could still be downstairs trying to uh, have a beer in the kitchen. 
<sighs> yeah, I guess I'll go straight to bed tonight. Easier to come up with ideas when you're well rested. That is true, but that raises the question. With all those naps you take, how are you always so tired? Hmm, years of experience. <laughs> Alright, that actually makes sense. Yeah, cause if you take a lot of naps, your body gets used to taking so many naps and it wants more. It's basically getting addicted to napping. I'd try asking my clubmates about their festival plans later, but Ferris is an upper class student and other two are second years, so I'm sure they've got something amazing on their sleeves. Who wants to bet their uh, aunts are only going to depress me? Yeah, we don't exactly have a lot of options either. Still. I'm sure we'll come up with something that we can really be proud of. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, and the uh, cafe is already out of the books because someone is already doing that. And of course a weapons expedition exhibition would be nice as well. But I don't know if the student council would allow that on campus. Considering how dangerous that can possibly be. So that uh, idol concert that I think Toa is gonna suggest would be perfect. Hmm, yes, my club isn't meeting for practice tomorrow, so maybe I should spend the day pondering an idea for the festival. I also made arrangement with Sharon to teach me too. Oh? What are you planning to on having her teach you? Hmm, there's nothing too important, so don't worry about it. Okay... Hmm, an idea involving the pool might not go over all that well. Now that summer has passed, there's no club practice to attend tomorrow, so I should spend the day pondering an idea for the festival. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, having said that, I'm wondering. Nope. As always, we cannot cook <laughs> without having actual people in our party. Hmm, what's wrong, Emma? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I guess I've been feeling rather out of it lately. Maybe it's because I've been so focused on coming up with ideas for the Literature Club short story collection. You should uh, take the chance to get some good uh, rest tonight then. <laughs> and that's exactly what I intend to do. Okay, you do that and I will go downstairs and see if I can find our instructor. I'm sure she has to be here somewhere, right? There she is. Hmm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. You've got your next field uh, study and your practical exam coming up too, so the sooner you think of something, the better. If you really can't think of anything, you could always uh, just post up your field study reports and call it a day. And win the award for most boring event ever? <laughs> Not on my watch. We'll only have one chance to enjoy the festival as first years after all. <laughs> good, good, you do understand. Yeah, and that's exactly why she said it, because he knows that we shouldn't um, be lackluster about coming up with an event, but something like just a display is always an option. I'm hoping on something a little bit more active. <laughs> You've been coming around pretty often these days, huh? I guess you must really like whatever Sharon's been making for you. No milk from us. <laughs> Our sharing is already providing plenty. Oh, the chairman stated that she was high as high hopes for the Academy Festival. Visitors will be uh, coming from all different regions, so it should be quite stimulating for the economy, she says. Uh oh. <laughs> of course, she's also looking forward to your performance as well. I'm tingling with anticipation myself. I'm sure you are. Right, let's get out on the town. I probably shouldn't go out this late at night. You shouldn't, but you could. Alright, let's uh, go back to bed. We talked to everyone, so we are ready for tomorrow. Should I call it a day? Choosing to rest will cause the date to change and the main story to advance. Yes.
Every day! Alright, Sunday is here. So you know what that means? That means we have to walk around, talk to everyone, and pick out our... Let's say people to spend our points on. <laughs> oh, and don't forget uh, the task that we've been given. Ooh, two required and one optional. From heart to stomach. I'm thinking about making some food as a present for someone, but I don't know what to make. It's gotta be something that screams me, you know? I think I'll uh, need someone's help to figure that out. If you got a stomach of steel and can help me out, meet me in the cafeteria kitchen in the student union. Mint. Alright, that should be easy enough. A personal quest. Green, I have uh, to ask you to do me a favor. I'll be in the training hall on the first floor of the gym. If you come, come prepared. Angelica, yes, and of course our schoolhouse. Good Mr. Swarcer, we have come to an amusement juncture at, this, at which, even were I to submit a blank request form, you would naturally assume my intent to do an investigation of the old schoolhouse. It is it, once again. Hmm, a request from Angelica? If you put it in directly, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with the orbital bike. But it says to come prepared. I wonder what that's all about. Let's see, we've got the usual letter from the principal, and the other is a request for helping making a dish. And then this evening, I'm meeting Toa up in the computer room. I'm curious what she has to show, but I guess right now I should just focus on the task I've got here. So yeah, that uh, Toa meeting at night is probably off to the old school house. So it's still bits away. Well, we've got a nice fall day on our hands, and it looks like this weather is going to stick around for a while. <laughs> My first free day since we switched back to the long sleeve uniforms too. Better roll up those sleeves and get to work. Oh yeah, cause we've got a lot to do today. First, let's check out the dormitory. Word has it that you stuck, struck upon an idea for the festival, Masterine. Not quite. We may be getting a little help uh, finding some inspiration uh, for one though. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, please do let me know. I shall devote my entire being to aiding you all. I think we'd break all sorts of unspoken rules if we got you involved with this. Thanks for offering though, but we'll try to pull uh, through by ourselves. <laughs> How very like you. Yeah, cause uh, Reen does want to do something, but he doesn't want to cheat. And he feels like using uh, Sharon would be a little bit like cheating. And I get where he's coming from. Alright, Milliam and Sarah. Oh, having said that, we... No, but this is not Milliam, that is, of course, a Laura. And this is Emma. Huh. Usually it's Sarah that is still in the room taking extra catnap because she doesn't have to work today. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's see who we've got today. We got four points. We have Emma and Laura. We got uh, Sarah and Machias. Do we have anyone here? And geez, we got eight options. That is going to be a really hard choice. We got Fee, Yusus, uh, Elliot, and Gaius. Alright, so on the out of the top of my head, uh, the one that I would really like is gonna be Sarah. And we already picked as Alyssa unofficially as our main girl, but she doesn't have one. So we have three other points we can divide. So who do we need some extra link points with? I think that would be a good way to go about this cause look at that. Everyone is really nice there. I see that uh, Milliam and Crow are not up for options and we got one already at level 5 and of course that's Alyssa so I think if we look at this it will be Machias, Emma, Yusus and of course Sarah uh, I think that would be it yeah let's uh, go with those I think that's a good choice based upon our linkage uh, list because I would love to have everyone on level 5 by the end of the game but I know it might not be possible to get there but if we can get really close I would love that because I think that we can get Laura to probably to 5 and Elliot the rest would be yes or no 
<laughs> so yeah, Machias, Emma, uses. Alright, it means that we can watch her straight away and Laura will need to wait a bit until I've prepped for that. Hmm? It's rare to see you stay in your room on a free day, Emma. Something up? Oh, I just feel a bit tired, that's all. With the Academy Festival coming up, all the classes presidents have a lot we need to take care of. Hmm, that does make sense. I guess I should let you get some rest then? You've got uh, commitments not just to our class, but to the literature club too. Well, it's not as bad as uh, I might have made it sound. For one thing, the literature club festival preparations are more or less taken care of at this point. The only thing left is waiting for our class to figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, we really do need to get that sorted out pretty soon. <laughs> Let's do all we can to make this festival one we'll all remember. It's something on our mind? It was pretty obvious during last month's field study, but there's definitely something Emma's been keeping from us. Yes, we will. Hey Emma, you feel up for talking for a little while? I'll leave you be if you just want to rest though. <laughs> Reen? <laughs> Thank you. I really do appreciate your concern. Oh no, that wasn't what I... So, Reen, I have a little magic trick of sorts that I'd like to show you. Would you like to see? Yes. I definitely want to see. Hmm, that's an old looking uh, candlestick. Did you bring that along from home? <laughs> yes, I brought it along with everything else here. Well then, let me begin. Uh, what? Is that a conductor's baton? Wait, no. Plama. Uh, how did you do that? I didn't see you use your Arcus, so that can't have been an orbal art. <laughs> That's right. All I can say is that it's a magic trick of sorts. However, that should make it clear that my background is uh, <laughs> kind of abnormal, to say the very least. Although, I'm sure you suspected as much after what happened at Lohengrin Castle and see my connection with Celine. I see. <laughs> Ring? Thanks, Emma. There was a pretty interesting display right there. I have no idea how you did it, though. Ring. Thank you. What are you thanking me for? You were the one who put up on uh, the show. I'm sure all other classmates would react the same way if you showed them what you just showed me. Besides, we got Milliam in our class. As far as Mysterious goes, <laughs> the girl who can summon our Gedlam takes the cake. That's... <laughs> well, I suppose that's true. Maybe it's ironic for Mystery Girl number 2 to ask, but what exactly is Eric Gedlam anyway? Oh, so you don't know either? Well, he was thinking that there was nothing in the world you didn't know about. <laughs> that couldn't be any further from the truth. There's a lot I don't know. Oh, come to think of it, I forgot that I baked some cookies yesterday. I'll go pour some herbal tea, so feel free to help yourself if you'd like. And so Reen and Emma relax together with some cookies and herbal tea. Yes, give me the extra points. <laughs> Uh, yes, and you could also say that, well, if you know you're not going to make uh, level 5 with everyone, why not focus on the ones that are closest? And the reason I don't want to pick that is because we still have probably two uh, old school houses left to go, like two dungeons there, and we got at least one more field study. That's meaning that we have three areas where we're going to be fighting through, with possibly other people uh, mm. from our uh, class. Meaning, there is still potential to learn more points, to get more points there. And if already maxed out with those people, they won't be getting anything else anymore. So there's no reason for me to link with them. So just by evening it out, it would make it a little bit easier for me to get more people towards that level five, even if it's just too far away. We gotta make an effort, right? <laughs> Hmm, I'm glad I decided to show you that. It's like a weight's been lifted from my shoulders, you know. I'm glad I could be of assistance. 
The rest of Class 7 and I will always be here for you, so don't feel like you have to keep things bottled up, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm pretty sure she's not telling us everything yet, but this is a small step in the right direction, definitely. Oh, are you planning on spending the day here? Hmm, I am. The swimming club is a meeting today, so I have some free time. I spent the day improving myself while attempting to think up of an idea for the festival. Improving yourself? Were you doing push-ups in your room or something? <laughs> Oops, well, you know, something along those lines. It's nothing of great importance, don't worry about it. Well, she says that, but... It is making me incredibly curious to see what it is, but we'll see in a moment. We're not gonna spend a point on this. So what I'm gonna do is... I think I'm gonna do the Trista part first, try to talk to everyone. And then we're gonna do the bonding events that we will not pick. So I can reload that little bit. And then we're gonna pick the ones we will do in this area. Which is, ironically, Machias and Sarah. So the only one we wouldn't be able to do is Laura. So no, I still, I think, I still, I'm still gonna do the same. I think I'm gonna do the entirety of. Tri I mean, you know what? I might as well go everywhere first, because if I do Sarah and Machias now, I will only have one, like one point left, meaning that I will have spent all my points every time I do an event after that and mm -hmm. having multiple points makes it easier to go by all other locations because I can do them in quick succession which might be a bit easier yeah I might do that so we're gonna go by Trista Academy then we're gonna do the bonding events at the Academy that we won't pick then we're gonna do Yusus, Machias and Sarah as last that way we'll have everybody done by the time we talk to everyone on the location. And in the process we probably also come across Mint in the student union and Angelica probably at the engineering building. Yeah, there's a lot to do. We will we'll be busy. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy have stopped fighting now. They're still acting kind of awkward, but they're trying. <laughs> Seeing them get along makes me happy too. So your mom and daddy finally made up? <laughs> Good for you, Annie. Hmm, I'm so lucky to have a husband like Harrison. He helps me out with the church and even works extra hard so he can take us to events like the summer festival. So I decided to knit a sweater for him to show my appreciation. <laughs> I'm not exactly a professional knitter though, so it may take a while. Well, I think the effort will always be appreciated. I am not exactly a professional knitter though, so this might take some time. I'll have to keep it a secret from him until it's ready. Well, I'm sure you know when he'll be home. Let's hope he uh, doesn't suspect anything until it's done. Let's see what Mick's been up to. Oh uh, yeah, you kids got another field study this month, right? That's right. The board of directors just made their decision on it the other day. Oh boy, you kids just can't watch a break, uh, can ya? Now it's really not the best time to uh, trapeze uh, around San Maria. Well, what you gonna do? Your class is still doing something for the festival, right? Well, if you need me to order some supplies for you, just let me know, I don't bite. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's got a rough exterior, but I guess he's just a big softy deep down. I think he is, yeah. Uh, I'm used to all of this by now. Last year, people came to me with all sorts of crazy requests. Toa wanted some costume, George wanted a whole bunch of orbital parts. <laughs> so basically, let me know what you need, no matter how out there it sounds. If it's possible to get, I'll get it. I'm pretty sure he can actually. Right, everything is already done with that one. Do we have anything interesting new? Yeah, we still have 
a nice amount of new material, but we might need that amount just to upgrade our new weapons, cause they're getting more expensive every field study. And these seem so interesting as well. I should have a holy breath somewhere. I don't know why, but in my head I have. Cause I thought I gave it to users, but it's got to be somewhere, doesn't it? Alright, nothing new. Perfect. Thank you, mate. Uh, I was lucky enough to catch a glimpse of Prince Oliver as he passed by in his limousine the other day. And while I only lasted a fleeting moment, I could tell immediately what a fine man he's become. I never thought I could be so moved by a single second. Prince Oliver attended Thor's many years ago, so I'm no stranger to his presence. His aura of refinement doesn't seem to have faded in the slightest. Yeah, and that's what it means to be proud of your royalty in your nation. And even if you just see a second, you can still feel all the power it emanates. Oh, I try to help out with the Academy Festival each year, usually with things such as decorating the main gate and arranging flowers to send to invitees. <laughs> it's kind of a fun challenge to see what sort of design the students will request for me. I wonder what this year's festival will be like. I suppose I'll find out soon enough now, won't I? Yeah, we're getting closer and closer. Ah, they're cute girls out there and I'm gonna be the one to photograph them. Just be sure to get their permission first. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever you say. This isn't good for my heart. Oh, I'll be snapping pics of the cutest girl from dawn to dusk. We came by to take some extra photos for the exhibit. Rex has a knack for capturing people's expressions, so that's what he's been shooting. Meanwhile, I'm focusing on more scenic artistic shots. Hey, each one has its specialty. Maybe some noble will hit on me if my outfit for the festival is super cute. <laughs> it's every girl's dream. Okay then, my mind's made up. Let's take this festival by storm. Stage 1, engage. To the bouquet. Boutique. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see that things have gotten pretty busy over at Thor's. You're all preparing for the Academy Festival, I take it? I'm looking forward to it myself, so allow me to wish you all good luck. Now that I think of it, there's always a cornucopia of food stalls and other treats at the Academy Festival. <laughs> My stomach can't wait. I can imagine so, yes. Things are always buzzing around here when the Academy Festival starts closing in. I was just talking to Julia next door about how close it's getting too. <laughs> and this is one of those things I love about Trista. Good luck with your preparations for the festival, I'll be cheering you all on. Thank you very much. As soon as I have an idea, I will definitely let you know. Oh, Laura is so much easier to approach these days. Don't tell her I told you, but even uh, we even go shopping together. I'm not gonna lie, I was too intimidated to even look Laura in the eye at first. But now, I can happily say that we're friends. That's really nice. We get all sorts of students showing up to buy equipment and stuff whenever the Academy Festival starts closing in. Keeps us nice and busy. We usually get loads of customers during the festival too, so I gotta make sure we're ready for things to get even busier. But don't think that means I don't have the time to help you out. All of us in the shopping district are 100% behind the festival, so you name it and we'll do it. Mm, do we have anything nice? <laughs> the Royal Sable. How more? Let's see, what kind of ingredients are we plentiful? Just look like it. Anything else? Good. Anybody here? I always find myself looking forward to the Academy Festival. There's always so much to see. Besides, someone usually calls uh, on us to make specific festival related outfits. Given that today is a free day, I expect we'll see some students coming in today to place their orders. 
only one month remains until the Academy Festival. <laughs> this is usually when students come in with their outfits in mind. I always look forward to seeing what kind of designs they come up with. Anything interesting? Doesn't seem like it. Nope. But that's good. Makes it a lot easier for me to uh, choose <laughs> what kind of things I have to buy. Oh, you won't believe this. I actually saw Rufus Alberea the other day. He's even more handsome in the flesh. Of course, I should probably mention that I only saw him while he was passing by in his orbital car. I had no idea he was such a member of the Academy Board of Directors. I'm so jealous of your students now. Hey, it's not like we're gonna see him every day or something. <laughs> oh, breaking news. Radio personality extraordinary Misty makes an appearance at the Thor's Military Academy, Academy Festival. Oh, I wish. Well, it doesn't cost anything to hope. Maybe I'll put in a request at the station. Hey, you can always try, Monk. You can always try. We got a notice the other day about how oh, we're under suspicion of trying to monopolize the orbital airwaves. In layman terms, it basically means the military wants to check uh, all our content, so they can censor stuff they don't like. Hmm, chances are that the Imperial Chronicle Radio is behind this. They know they're not nearly as popular as we are, so they had to resort to playing dirty instead. The sleazeballs from the Imperial Chronicle Radio have started using dirty tactics to bring us down. <laughs> There's gonna be some way to get out of this. I don't want my station to being censored by those scumbags. Hmm, how about some sort of PR strategy? Yes, let Misty go to the festival for a live report from there. That will uh, have everybody uh, salivating at the idea, I'm sure of it. Make sure we don't talk to Sarah. Oh, Sarah seems awfully out of sorts today. It's like she's a completely different person. What happened to the lazy alcoholic we all know and love? Well, I'll uh, figure it out at some point. Hmm, you heard about how Crossbell's trade conference was targeted by terrorists, right? And then the Crossbell went on and declared their independence. If it's not one thing, it's another. Our world is more terrifying by the day. Peace is too much to hope for, it seems. I'm not entirely sure on the details, but Crossbell's trade conference was targeted by terrorists. <sighs> is there any good in the world anymore? Man, I forgot uh, about Crossbell declaring independence until Abbott started rambling about it. Oh well, it's not like they're really gonna go through with it, right? They don't even have a proper military. Crossbell's a new mayor was elected pretty recently, wasn't he? What if he's bluffing about this whole independence thing just so he can uh, get popular? Could be the case, but there's no way to find out, at least not at the moment. Mm -hmm. Premium coffee. Ah, ah come on, ya diddy. You cannot have a food cell without. Uh, yakisoba. Becky. Let's talk turkey here. We're all getting customers from all over Erebonia. You can't honestly expect something that people only eat in Celtic to sell. I've run the numbers and we can make a hefty profit on crepes thanks to the ingredients so cheap to stock up on. Eh, yeah, who cares about that? Customers wanna eat yakisoba, so I'm giving them yakisoba. She may be too stubborn for her own good. Why can't she just use a little bit of common sense? Ah, you're daft, Hugo. The customers don't want to see your food. They can just have anywhere else. Which is technically true, but it is a balancing act between uh, what you will buy and what kind of profit you make. So, if you have more expensive ingredients, you have to sell more in order to uh, break even. That's why I want crepes, because crepes are really easy to make, very cheap, and even if you don't sell many, you probably will get a profit out of it. Hmm, as was the case last year, Master Vincent seems intent on helping with the festival preparations as little as possible. Regardless, I'm sure he has every hope of enjoying the festival without any guilt or regard for his current laziness. As do I. 
I intend to enjoy the festival at Master Vincent's side. Please do your utmost to ensure that this is an enjoyable experience. Hmm, many of his students have made their way into town, I see. Watching students scurry about in preparation is one of the finest sights of the season. Fellow students, I implore you, do everything in your power to deliver us a fantastic festival. Well, I'm sure most people will do their best. Alright, only Makias. Uh, I should have known that would happen. Turns out Kay doesn't even want to look at study material I ordered for him. And here I was thinking that he's taking a liking to studying. I guess it was just a phase after all. Uh, it was not a phase, it was a crush. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. I just feel kind of down after you got my hopes up like that. Don't mind me, unless of course you'd like to purchase something. Well, if you have something new, maybe. Ooh, brewing, amazing coffee. Yes. Cats, cats, cats. Expert cookware. And ooh, Menly Munch's steak. This is a new recipe. Awesome. Let's go straight into it. Within the book is a recipe you've never seen before. Thank you very much. Let's see where it's on the list soon. Hopefully nothing in between. Ah, brewing amazing coffee. Machias is a coffee drinker, right? I wonder if he's read this book. Probably not. So let's just share it with him. These cats are all so adorable. Emma's gotta see this. She'll love it. Alright, that's another. Milliam joined the cooking club, didn't she? Maybe this is the one book she'll actually want to read. Ah, thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you for the new books. Weird. I don't even have Sunday school today, but Kay's gone to church. Sunday's gotta be up. I just know it. Can you not talk to me? Kay will notice I'm here. Oh, looks like Rosine's here today too. <laughs> uh, seems like it's time for me to head uh, on in there and help her out. I'm such a good kid. Helping out means I get to spend some time alone with Rosine. <laughs> I'm gonna help out all day. Yeah, you sly W. All right, let's uh, do our monthly fishing trip here. All right, let's see. Come on, Daddy needs some more points. Ooh, eel. What even is this? Well, two new points. That's all I'm seeing there. Because if we can't catch something new, let it at least be uh, worth more points. Another two points. Beautiful. Huh. Ooh, that seemed like another big fish. Wow, this is a big one! <laughs> it definitely is. Another two points. Perfect. Every little bit helps, so give me ever increasing size fishies. Wow, this is a big one! Huh. <laughs> nope, no actual new ones. Oh well. 
We still have two old school houses to go and probably one new area for the field study. So maybe we can still have four new ones. If not, we still have Trista and hopefully we'll get lucky here if we do miss one outside. Oh, mom's starting doing the housework again. She stopped arguing with that too. <laughs> I guess it really was a good idea to tell them how I felt. It's still a bit awkward between them, but they're at least trying to fix things now. <laughs> Seeing them getting along makes me much happier. Well, as long as they want uh, to get back together, I think that's the important thing. Hmm, Annie sat me down the other day and told me that I need to make up with my husband. Perhaps refusing to do any housework was a little childish of me. At least things uh, I should be doing is making my children worry. Emil sat uh, Gordon down and had to talk with him too. That might explain why he's not acting quite so haughty anymore. Yeah, he uh, got his uh, comeuppance from his own son. That's basically what it is. <laughs> oh well. I hope they'll work it out. But Because if they don't uh, get along, they may not need to be together anymore. And that's okay too, as long as they know what they want. But that's important. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I tend to have my hands full with schoolwork too, so there isn't much time for me to spend with the children. I'd like to use this opportunity to get to know them all a little better. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this sounds like a fantastic idea. You're the perfect candidate for this too. I would have asked you myself if I had thought of it first. Yeah, she's talking about uh, showing the kids around the festival. Just like we uh, talked to her about in the last episode. I heard Crossbell's trade conference was subjected to a terrorist attack. It would seem as though many lives were lost. Most of the casualties were on the terrorist side, but even so, all are equal in the eyes of Ideos, regardless of their actions during life. Oh, Ideos, please grant those souls eternal rest. Word has it that the terrorists sacrifice themselves for their cause. Oh, Ideos, why must such sorrow exist in this world? Yeah, we didn't actually hear if any of the terrorists that tried to commit suicide actually survived. Maybe they are questioning them at the moment and that's why we're not hearing anything about it. Hello. Why is she staring at me like that? She wants more milk. <laughs> she seems so happy. Maybe I'll bring her some more another time. Yeah, we, we'll uh, keep on giving her milk. Because who knows? Maybe we'll get even more gifts. <sighs> we stayed up pretty late coming up with ideas for the festival. So I'm really, really tired. But I think it really brought us closer together as a class. <laughs> it's kind of nice to have a big bonding event like this, don't you think? I was told to focus on festival stuff since the fencing club is closed today. I'm finally getting good too. I could even give Patrick a run for his money. Oh man, maybe I'll go back to my room and lift some weights. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm really curious about what Bridget's class is doing for the festival. Maybe I'll go try to get a sneak peek. That's an excellent idea, Alan. I say, go do that. <laughs> and even if Bridget noticed you, I think she will definitely appreciate it. Alright. The upper dorms. Let's uh, go in first. Hmm, my apologies. I was lost in thought. Master Patrick has always been the type to put all his passions toward achieving his goals. Watching him do so as a child was quite the heartwarming sight. Although he may have grown somewhat haughty, I cannot help but look upon him as a younger brother of sorts. I dearly wish to see him grow up to be a fine Arabonian man. While he may still have much to learn, it is my utmost hope that he someday becomes a fine Arabonian gentleman. If one were to romanticize it, it could be said that this is my one true wish. Well, I have to say, Patrick is slightly starting to grow on me. So if he keeps this up, who knows, he might have a chance. 
Oh, it's almost time for the academic festival once again. <laughs> How exciting! While the event itself is guaranteed to be fun, I believe that the most enjoyable part of it for you will be the preparation. Of course, I've never done so myself, so I may be wrong. Upper class students are working hard to prepare for the festival too. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. Alright, let's see. You about some dishes? Wow, I had no idea such delicious looking food existed. Thank you so very much. This should be a great help. Alright. Got two more. Okay, same one. It's gonna be the same as with the other one that we're not gonna get a gift. No, we're still one short, because we still have one that we didn't make the recipe out of, right? Yes, this one, the custard pudding. And we have stamina steak. What if I try just doing it by myself? Okay, let's give this a try. Hmm, there we go. <laughs> just the normal steak. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the academy. Mm, is there some little things we can do before calling it a day? Probably. Uh, the main building will definitely keep until next time, just like the student union building, because we know Mint is in there with her request. Instructor Thomas has uh, struck himself to be that spot like some kind of Richard Hungry Barnacle. How am I supposed to clean that corner of the library if he doesn't move? There's no way to stop him once he gets started, is there? Nope. No way indeed. I mean, I've already been keeping the library open extra late so students can look up what they need for the festival. But that's not an open invitation to stay here in here for days on end. Ah, class one, I requested that I do some research into the historical setting of the operette they'll be performing. You can only imagine the joy of having your own students call upon you for aid. So I pulled an all-nighter, planning on prepping the outfits for maximum historical accuracy. There's night perfect. Wow, they must be pretty serious if they're willingly asking instructor Thomas questions about history. Ah, and now for the props. I might not have slept, but I'm too motivated to stop now. Yeah, we like uh, Instructor Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, all of the first years have their festival plans well on the way. The Academy Festival is uh, a yearly tradition here at Tors, uh, a festival for the students, by the students. It's only esteemed as it's because of the blood, sweat and tears of the countless students before you. So don't let us down. Oh, I will do my best. That's all I can give you at this time, moment. Anything here? Is it the student again? Yes, it is. Oh, I've been so swamped with everything. I need to prepare for the festival that I can't get any studying done. I'm going to have to use my free day to make up last time. Yeah, yeah you'll make it work. I know you will. Alright. Alright, there's one thing I want to check, and that is if Angelica is actually in the engineering building. Is she? Maybe? She is not. Oh, wait, maybe she's in the gymnasium. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows, maybe she was going to ask us to help her with a swimming lesson. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind seeing Angelica in a swimsuit, uh, definitely. Oh, you're meeting up with Toa later, aren't you? Have you come up with an idea on what to do for the festival yet? Mm, not yet, but it sounds like uh, she's having a good idea to share with us. Nice. Looking forward to seeing what you end up doing. I'm not gonna poke my nose into deciding what Class 7 should do. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. It could just be my imagination, but Angie seems worried about something. She's not usually the time to think things through, but I've caught her lost in thought a couple of times lately. That's definitely not normal, so I'm a bit worried. 
I actually received a request from her today. Do you think it might be related? Seriously? If you got time, try and help her out then. It might be just what she needs to get whatever she's worried about off her mind. Hey, if we can ever help friends, we'll do it, you know that. Alright. Let's see if we can find her. Do some extra talking along in the process. Hmm. Celestine's attitude of late has been strange to say the least. I loathe to suspect him, but could he be up to something behind my back? Patrick, are you okay? Oh, what are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? Let me be. The festival and fencing were weighing heavily enough on my mind as it is, and now I'm beginning to doubt Celestine. I loathe to suspect him, but could he be up to something behind my back? He could be. Well, he was having like speech bubbles above his hand, so... Hmm, maybe we need to talk to him again? Just out of a precaution, cause like I said, I don't want to miss any more hidden quests. So, if there's any hint of a conversation between two people that aren't near each other, we're gonna check it out. <laughs> hmm, I offered to land via hand, but she refused. She insisted on doing this all on her own. <laughs> Perhaps it would be the best to support her from the shadows, so to speak. I ordered land via hand. Well, it's her flowers and they are definitely growing. And it looks like she's making a separate one. Is she gonna give that to anybody? Hmm. Oh, I'm still trying to come up with something to do for the festival. Not having a whole lot of luck so far though. I figured on doing a fishing competition, but there's no point if I'm the only one that enters. Ideas aren't exactly leaping uh, into my mind. Maybe I should ask my brother for some advice. You could always do that, yes. Right. Ah, uh, there she is. It's pretty empty uh, otherwise here. Hmm. Everybody may be busy for festival work, isn't it? Alright. I think I will. Yeah, that's her. Alright, we're gonna leave her for now. So I think we're gonna leave the episode. Yeah. So next time we're gonna go up to Angie, see what we can help her with. Uh, we're gonna go to all the other places around the academy, including Mint with her side quest. And of course, let's not forget that we still have a whole bunch of bonding events we still have to watch. Uh, mainly, at the moment, Elliot, Gaius, V. And of course here Laura. So that's, I think we're gonna start with that next time? Mm, maybe not. Because uh, we haven't done the entirety of the main building yet. We have seen V, so that one is exactly, uh, that is a possibility that we can actually do. Mm, I think we're gonna go around the entire academy, so we're gonna hit the gymnasium next, then the academy fields, main building, and finishing it off with the student union building where we're gonna find Mint and after that, before we head back to Trista to watch the bonding event with Laura and potentially Sarah and Machias, we'll round up the bonding events here so we're all and ready to do that. But that's gonna be next time. Until then, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be back next time as we are finishing off our rounds on the Academy on this beautiful September day. See you then. Bye-bye.